Hello, I am Mega Gimli, and also known as Jared. I am playing TF2 today, two today as a medic on Gold Rush. And as you can see, we have almost won the game. They've got quite a few sentences here, so then that's the thing to go. I'm not really doing a series on this, I'm just playing TF2, it's really all it is. Um, I might be doing some other videos some other time with someone else. This is the thing. But right now, yeah, they've got sentries everywhere, but they did. And I'm almost dead. It's not really difficult to play as a medic, but there's also very many difficulties as well. You've got to make sure you see any every time you see someone who isn't a full health. You've got to make sure that they're a full health because with times like this, it's great to have people full health. Definitely in some parts of the game, uh, having more than one medic is very helpful. Right now we did, and we just won the game. Um, it doesn't really always pay off to have more than one medic, especially if one of those medics is terrible. Um, like me, probably. <laughs> I'm not the best medic in the world. Uh, right now I'm using the Crusader's Crossbow, which is very good in my opinion. It allows you to... Shoot, well, you can basically just shoot enemies uh, to do damage to them. It's like a bow and arrow thing. There you go. has an arc to it. And when you hit enemies... Um, I'm not sure what happens there, but um, when you hit a teammate with it, it heals them, which can be very, very useful, especially in medieval mode when you don't have mediguns. Uh, I'm just using the normal medigun, I'm also using the amputator, which is, is the same as the bone sword, except when I'm torn, I can heal people. I don't do overheal, but when there's a lot of people who need healing, it is very, very helpful. Uh, as I said, I'm playing Gold Rush, we're on the blue team. We're now on the second point. There are people dying out there. Some, that, that's obviously a spy. Yeah, it's totally not a spy. I'm just going to laugh at them. Anyway, uh, yeah, generally when you're late, you want to heal heavies because they're the people who can do the most damage. However, not like not always a heavy is the best idea for like, a person to heal because sometimes they can be stupid. I, I'm not sure what this scout's doing, but he's having fun. He wants a dispenser, okay. The he heavies, well generally they are the best to heal. And it's not, the, like I said before, not the best. Because they, like that, they can die pretty quickly when there's a lot of people on them. And as a medic, I, it was my job to keep them alive and I didn't. And there we go. It's always very difficult to get out of them because they have their sentries built up, they have well defences, they have everyone in the same place. Oh, he oh there's a charge heavy there you go. That's also what the medic can do. He can do charge making you invincible. And yeah, just that. You've always gotta make sure you know when people are trying to get you by like when they call medic. You've always gotta be following those and you can tell whether they're on like rather low health if um, when they call medic, the medic symbol is red around it, and if they're not on that, that lost that much health, it would be like white, so it wouldn't really matter. You gotta try and go after people like that. It doesn't. You can go for anyone really. There's no like strict person you can only heal heavies or soldiers because they have the most health. Right there, I can heal a scout because he had low health and I want him to live. Having more members is always the best to win. Uh, generally, you also want to go for people on fire because you could, you're the only person who really can put them out of the pyros. And we don't really seem to have a lot of pyros, I don't think. But they do have a lot of pyros. Being a mid, you're basically your team's best friend in any game. You're keeping everyone alive, and that's good. You want to keep everyone alive. Um, when you like heal someone up, like if you've healed them to full health and then you continue healing them, they get overheal, which means they have more health than they normally do. Damn, sniper just died. Um, this can basically you can survive much more damage than you normally would, and it's also a reason why you should heal everyone you can because you can get them all overheal, so they will have more health and survive for longer. Taking out sentries, yeah, you don't really. A lot of people think that there's a sentry, we got to use a spy to get rid of him. But if you just get a demo man um, and uber charge him, you can get rid of it really easily. And the sniper is also very good at getting rid of um, getting rid of sentries if he can get his shots on and not noticed for like 10 seconds or so. 
I usually go for heavy spins, they're big fat guys, I want to keep them alive. Oh, spy, spy, where do you go? That's also something we're we'll look out for. When you're a medic, everyone's going to target you, because you're the thing that's keeping everyone alive. You want to get rid of him if you're on the enemy team. I'm trying to get him on him. It's very difficult to stay alive long enough to even get an uber charge sometimes, because you're going to be sni- oh, I got one now. You're going to be sniped, you're going to be backstabbed, your, your guy's going to be backstabbed if you charge him. You know, sometimes uber charging won't help at all. Sometimes, like, it just it depends on the situation really, because if uh, that pyro is not being run by air blasting him. Yeah, you just want to... If you're in a bad situation, you're going to die. You want to overcharge if you can, and like, it's better to uber waste an overcharge and actually survive than to get another one, than to waste an overcharge completely and not use it at all. Because then you actually get something done at least, unless you're just randomly overcharging at spawn or something, which is what some idiots do. Um, snipers can headshot you and kill you in one hit, and that's not really good, generally. <laughs> um, so, if you overheal a heavy, a sniper will still be able to, if he's got 100%, oh, that's a spy, probably should have checked, but there you go. Um, if you heal them, yeah, if you get them to, a heavy, fully overheal will get to 450 health, and a sniper can do 450 damage where, uh, on full charge headshot, so you, you won't be able to, and heavy has the most health. So you'll never be able to help anyone survive a fully charged headshot, but you will be able to help. You'll be able to help people like live long. You will, if you can hit like he, yeah. If they get hit on the person and it's their body shot, it's fully charged. They should be able to survive to heavy at least. And that's my high pitch. And they should be able to survive it. If it's full charge body shot on a heavy at least, I think they'll survive when it's fully overhealed. Anyone else though, it has to be like not fully charged for them to like not die from it and then to be overhealed because otherwise spies you can't do anything really against them. That you can't heal them enough so that your guys live. However, you can spy check a lot and that's what the Crusaders Cosmo is very good at. In that when you heal when you shoot people like people on your own team, you heal them. So if you shoot someone and they don't get healed, well they're a spy. Okay. It's always best to like go for anyone that especially at the start when you're at the spawn, to just go and heal anyone you can just to over the charge up. It does take a while and sometimes you never even flex it before you never even get to use it. That's a spy. And I can't even tell they can a lot of the time people call out med like if they need a medic, they're gonna call out for it for ages and just going, medic, medic, medic. That can be very annoying. You just gotta make sure you get the right people and if you have the amputator, you can just use it and get everyone at once. Um that's it. I will. Uh shout out to Simon, also known as Wraith Guy, I'm a friend of his, he's a dick. <laughs> oh he's gonna hit me for that. Um this is Captain Useless. I don't know him. We're friends though. <laughs> Never heard that one before. If there's not really much else I can say, it's just I'm healing people, we're trying to get the point. Right now we're not doing too well, I think it's because they have sentries and pyros and good demo men. Very good demo men at that. Very good pyros as well. They're basically just setting sticky traps everywhere for us to fall into. That's it. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to survive this. Why are you using the I know it's funny, but just don't use it. There's rocket jumping. Um, yes, yes, heavy. Heavies generally call out for medic a lot because they're heavies. They want the medic. They want to be safe and sound with their buddy. Um, right now, if you're interested, I'm playing. Okay. I'm using on the menu. I've changed it so that when, as soon as I just click the button, I heal them. Like I don't have to hold it down. Uh, I should probably change it so I'm, there's a marker over the people I'm here healing, but that's a little later. This basically means I don't have to hold it down. My finger generally gets like really tight. My finger gets tight. My finger gets a bit weary after a while, and it's 
starts getting achy and I have to just stop playing Medic, which is annoying because I like Medic. Although if you looked at my uh, play times for each class, you wouldn't think that. I used to play Medic a lot when I stopped. I'm not sure why. I think I just got bored with it. Oh, I probably should use the amputated taunt now because this goes. Oh, go. oh god, it's just torn. Damn it, I did the wrong one. Well, I'm just gonna laugh at him. Oh, I've got full uber charge, I didn't notice. Scout, let's uber. Yeah! Tim asked me why I'm ubering a scout, I just have to uber someone, let's get soldier instead. There we go. Yeah, ubering any class really can be helpful. Uh, generally, you want to uber he's there the best at getting rid of something. I think someone just hit me with Thompson, so I lost some. Oh, yeah, I'd be shooting you. If you get hit by the Thompson, you, as a medic, you lose supercharged. Watch out for those when you're playing medic. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, Ubercharge. When you Ubercharge someone, heavy's the best, like I said. If you want to get rid of some, like, if you want to get rid of a lot of people. Pyro is very good Ubercharge as well. There's not really a, a best person to Ubercharge. It's a matter of the situation. I'm lagging a lot. What's going on? Oh god, there you go. Uh, soldiers, very good to Uber, because you can do a lot of damage in one area. Like, you can shoot a lot of Oh, oh, we can get this. Oh, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, uh, Uber charging scout. Generally, not the best idea. I mean, if you can. If the scout's good, yeah, he can do a lot of good stuff there. Come back, guys, I want Uber Charge. Um, Demo Man, very good for taking out sentries because he can just put his stickies everywhere. Uh, who's that? Uh, engineer, not the best. <laughs> Let's say that. Uh, you don't, there's not really any reason to Uber Charge an engineer. However, if he's under fire from a sentry, from a heavy or something, an Uber Charge heavy, his sentry is generally going to go down from the man. And if you judge him, he can stay alive and keep his symmetry so he can like, stay there. Uh, uh, Overcharging another medic can be incredibly helpful. Like, for instance, if that, like, there's a medic healing someone, you're behind that medic. If you overcharge him, he can kind of stay there and heal that medic. You can, he can kind of heal his target and potentially get an overcharge from that and survive an onslaught from other people. For example, if I ran in here with my heavy, I might get killed and I might lose all my Uber charge. Whereas if I'm Ubering another medic, you might be able to keep it. I think that's how it works. And for instance here, I usually bring that heavy and I can stay behind and keep healing him. And I can get some more Uber charge on myself. Uh, sniper. Like, again, with the scout, if they're good, yeah, it can be helpful in some cases. But if not, there's not really any reason to. If they can get headshots off easily, then yeah, sure, go by all means, go ahead. And then Spy, very, very, <laughs> surprisingly very useful. Because, like, you can just, uh, each other, you can go around sucking all the sentries and backstabbing everyone. And it's just carnage, it really is. And a lot of people don't actually each charge a spy because they think, oh, what, what use is he going to do? He's uber charged, what the fuck? I'm gonna teleport guys in a minute. Thank you, soldier. Thank you. Oh, God, the lag again. That was a lot. That's generally my opinion. It's obviously, like, of course, it's a matter of the situation on who you need to charge and why, like, it's every, like, every situation possible, and then times nine for all the classes it could be as a spy. I think I've got it. It's on the bottom. Yeah, what else can I say? It's, like, it's tier 2, it's fun. Um, if, it. if you haven't got this game, you really need to get it. It's free on Steam. Steam is free. You can just get, go on Steam, download that for free, then download this for free, and then just start playing. Of course, people will hate you because you are free to play, which is just a stupid idea. Everyone's free to play at this point, probably. And then, if you, when you've got money, if you want, you can put it onto your Steam account, pay some money into the TF2 store, and then, oh, oh god. And 
then you can basically just, well, buy a weapon in the Steam store, which allows you to your pack backpack to increase to six pages instead of one. You can carry loads more items, and yeah. Overcharging on both teams. Oh, I'm charged now. Uh, let's, let's go heavy. Let's go. Uh, blue team, it's very helpful in situations like this when they have loads of, when the red team has loads of defenses. Um, red team, it could also be very helpful when blue team are attacking a lot. That guy's dominating me for a uh, When blue team is attacking a lot, it can be very helpful for the red team to use the charge. And it's generally a defensive thing that can be used very little in attacking if used correctly. I've already got to the point now. But I've got nothing else to talk about. I'll just go to the end of this map. I'm sorry you won't be able to see the last gold rush map. No, no wait, this is the last part of gold rush. I started on the second part. Well, you won't get to see the first one. If you've never, for some reason, never seen gold rush before. Why you wouldn't have done as well as most frequently played maps. Like, uh, also, when you're a medic, you want to watch out for Pyros because they can they can air blast you while you're uber charged. Because, like, when you're uber charged, you won't take damage, but you can be air blasts, and soldiers can use explosive re uh, recoil to send you flying. Basically, you won't be able to heal your part, your heal target anymore. And, well, or they'll air blast you away from it. Away from you, or you away from them, and you won't be able to uber charge them anymore, and they'll just be left out with you being uber charged, not being able to do anything, just watching the guy get destroyed, and just sit there, wondering what just happened. That's my experience with that. When you're healing someone, you want to hide behind them as a medic. Shut up, Simon, I'm recording. Shout out to him, I'm sure when he gets to the thing. Uh, I'm probably going to do another video with him, because we both like TF2, we've done this for a while. It doesn't look like we're going to win this. We've got... Oh, we've got a level 77 heavy, and they've probably... That's 724 on there, so he's probably a demon man, or an engineer. Judgment points is very difficult, because if they're an engineer, if, if you can get loads of points as an engineer, just by putting the sentry down, and they'll just get loads of kills. But if you're any other class, it's generally how good you are, on how many points you have. What is very annoying is sometimes you can like heal the wrong person, like you're trying to heal someone and someone else gets in your way. And you'll just like heal them instead of the person you're trying to heal. Oh And the like. We've only got one teleporter now. Now everyone's just gonna fight over that. Sorry Pyro, I'm a medic, I need this more. Pyro, get off. <laughs> my teleporter. There we go. Ooh, he's on my health. Sometimes people don't call out for medic, so you've got to really be looking to boost low on health. Like, you see everyone's health when you look at them. So you can kind of just tell, or oh, he needs healing. I need to heal him because he's almost dead. If you have the choice between healing and different classes, generally Demo Man Soldier Heavy is probably the topest priority. Sniper Spy Scout will probably the least priority, the ones that you want to heal. The spies could just go invisible. Uh, scouts can run away that quick, and snipers don't really help if they've, they've got close to for their set. I think this is probably going to be our last push. We're going to be able to do another one after this. Uh, I think we're not going to make it. Okay, Zinni, I'm a medic, I need to teleport her. I'm sorry, Heavy. I'm sorry, Heavy. Goodbye. Should I just say that now? I'm seeing snipers. Um, you want to give those people I said priority. If you want to give someone an engineer, and their engineer's probably one you don't want to heal as well. And um, medics not exactly one. Well, because they, they, medics get like auto heal, or whatever it's called. So they can just survive for ages, let's laugh at that engineer. I'll <laughs> just see died as well, that's pretty cool. 
Uh, I'm not going to show red team because red team is boring in my opinion. I prefer, I much prefer blue team. Oh, I'm a changing map anyway. Well, I've been Mega Gimli. Uh, see you later. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.